Jazzy, I'm going outside to uh, sort out the rest of the robo lawnmower, okay? If you want to come. Still got a fair amount of that to do. Sorry Jasper. The weather is uh, seriously improved. I've still got loads of boundary wire to bury though. I'm just hoping the ground is still soft enough. Okay, I'm a bit on the worn out side, but we're good. I was burying the wire up until about there. And from there on, I just basically started pegging it down less and less well. Because otherwise I'd still be doing it. You see here, it's just kind of, I think it'll be fine. It's not the neatest though. Um, yeah, now I have to do the guide wire. That's what that loop there is for. That's where I'm going to attach the guide wire. So it's going to come across here, up there, round and into the base station. Then I'll be able to actually do some mowing. Right, it's now time to connect these wires. Left hand wire, this one, needs to go into there. So, as I understand it, what I do, squeeze those together. Pliers are not ideal, but they should do. No, pliers are not ideal. I think it's something ideal. Not much you can't achieve with the mole wrench, so... Okay. Yeah, okay. That sort of worked, I think. So now that can just plug into... And I just have to cut the excess off here. That's what I'm going to do. Just to kind of gently does it. Then we just cut this bit off here. We have a boundary wire. That looks like it's in, that looks like it's in, that looks like it's in. Everything looks like it's in. This mower should now work. I believe it when I see it. That bit all done. Now I just need to do the... Okay, that's officially coupled, ladies and gentlemen. Used every peg I've got. Put a little trellisy thing down the bottom there so that it doesn't jump to its death. As far as I can tell the wire is as that's not very good. Low as I can get it. Apparently there's a way to sort of set it up and calibrate it. And that'll test the everything. So let's do that. Okay, I've had a look through the manual. First thing we need to do is find out if it's working. Solid green light indicates boundary wire is all good. Pop this back where it came from. Should already be charged, but I think what we'll do is we'll press start. Close hatch to start. No, oh, look. It's going. Look where all of the stuff the flow has gone. Yeah, it's not cutting yet, Jasper, but you've got to keep your little toes away from it, all right, check him? My toes are over here. Yes, I know, but you mustn't get them anywhere near it because it will start cutting the grass. And if it can cut grass, it can cut toes. The grass is still very much on the long side because I, as you can probably tell, didn't cut it properly with my mower. So it'll be interesting to see how this robot thingy actually fares with it. I think what it's doing, Jasper, is it's following the guide wire out. So far, I've been thinking, this is definitely not worth it. But when you see it rolling around on its own, all of a sudden you think, oh, maybe it was worth it. This we'll find out when it actually starts cutting something. Hopefully not the wires. Oh, that is actually quite cool. I've got it on the highest setting physically possible at the moment. Now, can it get up this hill? Jasper, can it get up the hill, do you think? Um, it can get up the hill. Uh-oh. Wow. Houston, we have a problem. Dada, 
Yep, yeah, we've got another problem. Might be a little bit long, some of this stuff. You know, it would help if I actually had some grass, wouldn't it? Yeah. I've got a good idea, Jasper. Yeah, let's go. Let's go cycling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's taking its sweet time, but it seems to be getting there. And I suppose it doesn't really matter how long it takes because we're going out. I did give it a little helping hand with some of the really long bits with my proper mower because, I mean, that's what I'm supposed to be doing anyway, so. I am a big fan of things that sort of work on their own. Although I've got to say, setup time on that thing was Bikes all secure. Gotta get lunch chicken. This place is rammed, like totally anyone would think it was the summer holidays. You are living the dream today, aren't you, Jasper? One great thing about this place is it, there's basically a kind of path that goes round the park, and then every now and again you get these sort of playground areas. People can stop and get ice creams. Really, really well thought out, unlike robo mowers. You see, basically, the difference between a robo mower and the robo vacuum cleaner is the robo vacuum cleaner's got an element of AI in it. Not a lot, but a bit which means that the setup time is pretty much zero. Tidy your floor up, that's basically it. The mower, however, you've got to run these wires all over the place. Ah! Admittedly, because gardens are a much more dynamic environment, it would be much trickier to have an AI-based navigation system that didn't rely on wires, boundary wires and guide wires and stuff, but still, God, it's gorgeous. Yeah, watch out for the horse poo. Yeah, those are those are baby swans, so we need to go quietly past them, okay? Bit naked? No. Can we keep going? Oh. Just be careful because there's cars around here, okay? Everywhere! He is so much better at riding his bike than he was last time we were here. Oh, my head is very hot. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Did some good exercise this afternoon, didn't you? I didn't. I guess that's what happens when you basically ride around a park on what's effectively a small electric motorcycle. The thing about this bike is it's got the normal 250 watts that's the legal maximum, but it's got tiny weeny little wheels. So the torque, when you give it a twist, oh, it's crazy. Let's head home and find out if that robo mower has successfully redocked with the mothership. Not surprised. He did do a good two, three, probably three, maybe more kilometres. I don't know. It was a decent distance anyway for little legs with small wheels. Did the robo mower find its way back to its charging home? Yeah. Doesn't look too bad actually. Considering it's on the highest cutting set. <gasps> did make it back. It's not done the best job I've ever seen of cutting the lawn, but then it is on the highest setting it's got, which is what it has to be on for the first two weeks to stop it from munching through its boundary wire. So, yeah, I, I guess so far so good actually, despite the horrific setup. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's blog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. 
and I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye! Jasper, you could turn around quickly, get out the way. Come on, out the way, out the way. Sorry, monkey, I just don't want you to cut your toes off. You like having toes, don't you? Oh, that's how you don't. If I don't have any toes, I will be taking a zombie.